And it's one of the most requested uh, services we've been getting now for the four years that I've been here from ridership, our board, employers, employees. And for the last year and a half or so, maybe two years, we've been working on a plan to uh, get night service in place. We've been working both with our board, our staff, uh, our union representatives. Uh, Kevin is the leader of that group and uh, president of our operators and mechanics. And uh, we went through a lot of meetings and conversations and a lot of uh, er iterations of service and routes and schedules. Um, we've had a lot of interesting discussions, colorful debates on what we should do or not do and how we should run it. Uh, what the cost was going to be, and uh, there was a proposal for it five or six years ago. Uh, how can we get it done and not break the bank? How can we get it done and afford uh, to run the buses and pay our drivers and, and hire the folks we needed to hire to get it done? And through a lot of uh, blood, sweat, and tears and hard work, um, and uh, Kevin and I having meetings with our teams and getting it worked out, um, we're finally proud to stand here and say we've got it to the point now where we've We've finished all that work. Uh, our drivers have finished bidding on the services and the schedules and their routes and what they're gonna drive. And we can stand here today and I'm proud to stand with Kevin and say, uh, for the first time in over 20 years, starting on September 24th, we're going to launch a night service for LCTA in uh, Wyoming Valley in Luzerne County. seen in the drive that I took, the suspension seems to be a lot better, the steering feels a lot better, there's a lot of uh, different features that we'll see how they work out, the pedals move and everything, so this way if you're a taller driver, shorter driver, you can move them in and out. Right. We got an excellent uh, new wheelchair securement system on these, so uh, that's going to be big for safety, and it's a lot quicker than the ones that we have on our older buses. More comfortable ride too, right? Yes, absolutely. That's what it seems like to me.